What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the best sleeping bags of 2022. I'm also gonna tell you what I look for in a sleeping bag. I mean, these aren't even all the sleeping bags. And uh, I've been, I, 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 can't, I gotta put them down, I gotta put them down. Okay, that's, that's, that's better. <laughs> all right, I wrote down a few things of uh, what I look for in a sleeping bag. Now this is just personal preference. This is what I look for in a sleeping bag. What's important to me as someone who's probably slept a bajillion nights in a sleeping bag, that's a lot of nights in a sleeping bag. First of all, I try to buy my sleeping bags at a 20 degree Fahrenheit. That is the, uh, the warmest I'm gonna buy for a sleeping bag. And I do that because that's typically about what the temperature gets down to when I go backpacking, especially if I'm like higher elevations, even in warmer times of the year, it can get really cold. Um, I also look for a down sleeping bag. That's kind of my thing. I just like down sleeping bags over synthetic sleeping bags. Yes, I know synthetic sleeping bags have their place and uh, you may prefer a synthetic sleeping bag, but I prefer down and I'll get into a little bit later why I prefer down sleeping bags. The other thing I prefer is that I like to have a little bit more mobility inside of the sleeping bag. I like to be able to kind of move around. I don't like to feel super constricted inside the bag. I like to have the ability to kind of roll around if I need to. And the last thing I look for in a sleeping bag is, my lips are getting numb. I feel like it's a little chilly out here. I feel like getting in a sleeping bag right now. There's a nip in the air. There is a, there is a nip in the air. Uh, I like to have a lightweight sleeping bag. It's got to be uh, something that's packable and lightweight that fits inside of my backpack. So when I go backpacking, it's easy to carry and it doesn't take up a lot of space. And yeah, let's just get into some of the sleeping bags that I think are the best sleeping bags that you could be getting for 2022 from most expensive to least expensive. So there is a budget option in there. Also, there are no quilts on this list. There's no like weird uh, super three-in-one sleep system on this list. This is specifically sleeping bags. So yes, I know there are other types of sleep systems on the market right now, but we're looking for sleeping bags for all of you sleeping bag people who will never ever switch from a sleeping bag because that's just, that's just the kind of people you are. All right, the first bag on the list of Dan Becker best bags of 2022 is this one here. This is the Western Mountaineering Versalite sleeping bag made 100% in the United States of America. This thing costs over $600, at least the last time I checked. We'll make sure we update the prices on all of these bags before you put it all up on the screen. Why is this a $600 sleeping bag? Great question. I think it's a little bit overpriced, honestly, but you're paying for uh, the, the lightweightness. Is that a word, Emmett? It is now. <laughs> the lightweightness of a sleeping bag. This bag has, they state on their website that the Western Mountaineering bags have 850 plus down, which is interesting. But then they also state that the down is almost always over 900 fill. They're just trying to leave themselves some room for error, I guess. I will say it's extremely lightweight for you, for what you get. This is a 10 degree bag, according to their website. It's uh, you know rated at 10 degrees, but that's like where you're gonna start to feel cold. You're actually gonna feel comfortable probably down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. The loft on this thing is incredible. And it's so cozy, it's wide. Uh, so you're able to kind of roll around on the inside of it pretty easily. And the zipper here is really nice because it just doesn't catch <laughs> like at all. It's got this tape on the inside here and on the inside here, which helps stop it from catching, which if you get a bag that catches in the middle of the night and you're like trying to get out as fast as you can, cause you gotta like have a backcountry blowout at 3 a.m. That's not fun. Sounds like you're talking from experience. What? No. <laughs> no. The draft collar on this thing is enormous. Positives and negatives to that. If you use a draft collar, it's nice. I mean, you're gonna use a draft collar if you like cinch it around you. But if that kind of stuff makes you claustrophobic, it can be a little cumbersome. Um, the only thing I really don't like about this bag is it's got this little flap here, which supposed to Velcro around the side somewhere. I don't even know where. Uh, maybe it's here, but it just gets in the way. It drives me nuts uh, while I'm sleeping in the middle of the night. But that's my only complaint. The hood on this thing is absolutely amazing. It cinches up to the point where you'll have this tiny little hole here so you can, you know, you know, feel nice and warm and cozy. The foot box on this thing is awesome. Nice and warm and cozy. Uh, just everything about this bag is built like super high quality. 
The fabric is awesome. The stitching is amazing. There's nothing out of place on here. The person who's sewn it is right there for you. So you got their name on there. They have autographed this bag for you. So that's nice. It's just the quality bag. This is the bag that you're gonna buy if you want the last bag you're ever going to buy. So I would recommend this to the person who's gonna go, you know, a lot. If you 100% know that you're gonna be backpacking frequently and you don't wanna have to worry about being cold and you're probably not gonna go below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is almost on every backpacking trip ever. Rarely is it ever get colder than that unless it's like winter time. I, this is your bag right here. I mean, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. So I'm gonna show you another Western mountaineering bag that I've got here that is almost identical, like virtually identical, just one minor difference. This is the Western mountaineering Alpen Light. <laughs> it's essentially the exact same bag as the Versalite. The only difference that I can tell is that there's a little bit less down on the inside of this bag. However, this bag, when I bought this bag, I had them add an extra three ounces of overfill, which makes this identical to that bag. So you're not gonna be able to tell between my two bags that this one has a little bit less down on the inside, but the standard Alpen Light bag does have a little bit less down on it. Now, what does that mean? That just means that it's gonna be a little bit cooler than the other bag. And um, not by much. I've had this down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit as well, which is actually rated to 20 degrees Fahrenheit and been totally fine. But every other part of this bag is completely identical. The, the draft collar, the zipper, uh, the way it's sewn, um, the hood, I mean, everything, the foot box, the whole bag is completely identical other than obviously the color. Oh, and uh, is autographed by a different person who made this bag. So this bag is a little bit less expensive, but not by much, especially when you're paying as much for the bag as you're gonna be paying for it. It's like at some point you're just like, whatever, just take all the money I've got, because that's about what this bag is gonna cost you, like every ounce of pennies you could possibly imagine. Great bag though. Again, Western Mountaineering, you can't go wrong with any of their stuff. It's just all gonna be like the primo, the top notch out there in my opinion. Almost every sleeping bag here can be purchased over at Backcountry with the exception of one. So if you're looking for a bag and you are going on a very specific trip and you wanna know exactly which bag you should be buying for that trip, I would definitely direct you to Backcountry because these customer service people that you would talk to on their chat function have actually gone into the Backcountry and camped themselves. They're not like other outdoor companies where they're gonna just hook you up with some customer service person who's never even stepped foot in a tent or a sleeping bag or anything like that. The gearheads over at Backcountry are former Olympians, they're former trail guides, and they're former athletes that know how to tell you what to get to actually get you something that you're going to be glad that you purchased. They also gave me a coupon code, it's Becker15, that will get you 15% off your first purchase. Some exclusions do apply, so make sure you check that out in the link in the description below, and hopefully it can save you a couple bucks, even on some of these really expensive bags. Well, let's say you don't wanna spend $600 on a sleeping bag. You're gonna wanna look at this bag. This is brand new to me this year. As a matter of fact, it's brand new to me in the past just couple months when this company reached out to me and was like, hey, can we send you some stuff? I was like, oh yeah, sure. This is made by a company called Cumulus out of Poland. And <laughs> I would honestly put this in the category with like a Western mountaineering bag. That's how awesome of a bag this is. And it is almost half the price. So this bag, as you see it here, is a little bit more expensive. This is a little over $400 bag, but this is the long version. The short version is like, I think six inches shorter. I could be wrong on that, so check on their website. But it's $325 and it is rated to 21 degrees Fahrenheit for comfort. And I would tell you that I've had this down into the mid 20s and it was actually extremely warm. So I don't doubt for a second that you could get this down into uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit at all. The bag is built very similar. The bag does catch a little bit, but not terrible. So the zipper on here is a, it's a no snag zipper. It's not gonna be as good as the Western Mountaineering, but it's still pretty awesome as you can see. It just snagged a little bit there when I first zipped it uh, up. The hood on here is, is great. They've got a decent draft collar on here, a little bit less bulky than the Western Mountaineering one, but still fantastic. I'm not sure what this is all about, this long strap on here. It's off to the side at least, so it didn't really bother me when I was sleeping in it. But the foot box on here I think is better than the Western Mountaineering bag. I do like how this one kind of angles up a little bit and that way you can kind of put your feet in it and not have your toes 
pressing up against the end here, which then would compress the insulation and make your feet cold. So that's kind of nice. But this thing is, it's solid. It's stitched phenomenally, super well made. 850 fill down on this inside of this one. So it's a little bit heavier, but we're talking like maybe an ounce or two heavier than the Western Mountaineering bag. So not much at all. And then on the inside of the bag, uh, it's roomy. So it's very similar in size to the Western Mountaineering as far as the inside of the bag goes. So it didn't feel like super constricted or anything like that at all. So if you wanna save some money, this would be a great bag to get. Definitely recommend you guys check out Cumulus. Uh, these things are awesome. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a couple more bags after this bag, but those ones I actually don't have with me because I gave them away. Not because I didn't like them, but I gave them away to people that were in need of sleeping bags. But this one here, this is the one I wanna talk about next that I have. This is the last one I'm gonna show you here. We've got some B-roll of the other ones. This is the Thermarest uh, Hyperion 20 degree bag. Uh, first of all, this isn't gonna keep you warm to 20 degrees. This is comfort rated at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. However, I will say that I've had this in the high 20s. It was like 27, 28 degrees Fahrenheit in Zion National Park. Uh, however, it was a dry cold and I think that makes a difference. I think that it actually feels warmer when the, uh, when the weather is a dryish cold where the humidity is real low. Um, but I was toasty warm in this thing. The reason this bag is so good though is because it is probably the lightest weight bag to the warmth of any bag on the market that I know of. The warmth to weight ratio for this bag is probably completely unmatched. This weighs, I'm gonna totally get this wrong probably, it's like maybe a pound, a little over a pound, it's like maybe 20 ounces or something like that. Uh, absolutely crazy for a bag like this. I believe it's 900 fill down in here, but the material's pretty thin. I haven't ripped it at all, but you're gonna pretty much baby your bags anyway. They're not like hanging out of your backpack when you're hiking, so it's not that big of a deal. And then the other reason why this bag is so light is because the zipper doesn't go all the way down. It only goes partially down. Like all the other bags I've shown you, the zippers go all the way down and they're double zippers, so you can like ventilate at each end. Now this is a double zipper, so you can sort of do that, but like you're ventilating your, like your side. Uh, so you're not gonna be able to ventilate your feet. The back of this bag is way less insulation than the top of the bag, so uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that this bag stays upright, like over the top of you like this. So you're gonna wanna roll around in the bag, uh, otherwise you're gonna be cold if you kinda roll up like this, your back's gonna be a little chilly. But it does come with pad straps, so it kinda holds it into place, which is nice. The hood on this bag is pretty decent for what it is. It doesn't have like a draft collar, it buttons. Um, and I don't, yeah, it's got a little bit of a cinch here, so you can cinch this thing up. Oh, and the other thing I totally forgot to mention is that all of these bags are filled with RDS certified down, which essentially means that the bird was dead before they plucked it. So it's all ethically sourced down. The other thing too is, I don't, I'm not gonna be able to like uh, show you how these bags pack down because I don't have the stuff facts, the stuff facts, <laughs> the stuffing facts, <laughs> the stuff sacks for any of these bags anymore, but this one, certainly packs down the smallest, almost to the size of a Nalgene bottle, which is absolutely mind blowing uh, for what you can get out of this bag. But all of the bags, because of the, the down fill in them, they're all gonna fit perfectly inside of pretty much any backpack for any ultralight guy out there. Uh, they'll be totally fine. Because the down is such a high fill, they're all gonna pack pretty small. This one also has that toe box, similar to the Cumulus bag, that kind of points up like this, so that's kind of nice. Kind of keeps your toes from pressing up against the top here. And uh, yeah, just a great bag overall. Definitely one of my favorites for 2022. All right, so these bags are all pretty expensive, but let me tell you about some other bags that aren't on the visual list. Like you're not gonna be able to see them here today, but they are certainly on this list. One is going to be the Big Agnes Torchlight UL. Fantastic bag. That one will adjust to any size person. It's a little bit heavier because it's got a little bit more zippers, but that bag is ex like, it's totally expandable. So like if you got, a lot of girth. <laughs> if you're a bigger, if you're a bigger individual, it'll work for you. If you're a thinner individual, it'll work for you. So it's a great bag, um, and that one's rated to about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The other one, if you're a side sleeper, that I found this year that was absolutely awesome, had such a great night's sleep in it, is the Big Agnes Sidewinder bag. That one is literally built for side sleepers, so you can lay on your side and be totally comfortable. You don't have to have that awkward like hood facing up while your head is facing to the side and like you're buried on the inside of your bag. So if you're a side sleeper, totally check that one out. And then the honorary budget bag for this year, that's been a budget bag on my list, like probably the best budget bag that I've found over the past few years is the Kelty Cosmic Down 20. It is a little bit heavier of a bag and the down fill on that one is about 550 fill. 
but man, it's the biggest bang for your buck you're gonna find. You can sometimes find that thing down to like 150 bucks. Packs down pretty small for a down bag. It's built like a tank and it's pretty lightweight for what it is. All right, hope that helps you guys out. Hope those sleeping bags are on your list as well for the best bags of 2022. If you know of a better bag that you are 100% insisting is better than the ones that I've chosen, listen in the comments below that's gonna help us all out. I probably just haven't used it or maybe I don't even know about it. I'm sure there's bags out there that I've never used and don't know about it. All right, you guys, like this video, subscribe for more, and we will see you on the next one.